You don't understand, you don't understand. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be doing my January favorites, and I'm sorry if I sound stuffy because I am really like I am stuffy and I'm getting sick and I just wanted to go ahead and record this video and get it up before it's too late into February and yeah so I am so happy that January is over they're really bad it wasn't a bad month or anything it's just I am so excited for February and March I have so much going on in the next two months and I'm just so excited and January was a pretty good month though it snowed here which doesn't really happen in January much and it's just been a pretty good month. It's not going to be, it wasn't as good as I wanted to be my first month in 2014, but it was good. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So my first favorite is actually something I had in my last favorites, but I've just been in love with it this month as well. And it is the Simple Sensitive Skin Smoothing Facial Toner. There's nothing more I can say about this. I'm just in love with it. It is amazing on your skin. It makes it so soft. And I just, I have to have this with me. So it'll be in the 20s one day and then the 60s the next and it's just killing my skin. So I have been loving the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion and I actually got this in a kit for the Murad uh, Skin Perfecting thing, I don't remember what it was called, at Sephora but I have not been using anything in it except this and I hope that you can get this separately because I'm in love with it along with everything else because I'll keep saying I'm in love with stuff, oh my gosh. but. I'm looking to find a cheaper one just because I don't know if they have them separately. And I'm thinking of getting this simple face moisturizer. If any of you have used it, comment what you think about it. It's only $5, but I really want to know your guys' opinions. So now I'm moving on to makeup products. I'm first going to start off with the face as well. And the first thing is the Garnier BB Cream. I am in fair light. And I've just been loving this stuff because, like I said, the weather's been awful, my skin has been really dry, and I don't feel like putting foundation on every morning or every whenever I'm putting on makeup. I don't like putting on foundation. So I've been loving the Garnier BB Cream, and it's just been amazing on my skin. It is so smooth, and it gives amazing coverage, and I'm actually wearing it today. And yeah, you can't go wrong with this BB Cream. Now my next face favorite is this NYX Blush in summer peach which i don't understand why this is called summer peach because this is just the prettiest what the heck is happening why are they falling right when i'm recording a video <laughs> so this is not a i would this isn't the biggest summery color i've ever seen like it's like a darker pink and peachy pink color and I just love it to give me a natural look like it's not like BAM I'm out here and I'm here for the party it's just like hey I look up really pretty today with a natural flush oh my gosh yeah so I'm in love with this stuff so next on to eye makeup favorites I guess that's what you'd call it I have a mascara and an eyeliner so I'm gonna start off with the eyeliner I think this is in my last favorites too I need to get new favorites because it's pretty it's getting ridiculous so this is the Jordana Fabu liner I'm wearing this on my eyes today this is just an amazing felt tip eyeliner it's two dollars and I love this so much I have the Maybelline liner and the felt tip on that is really really long it's like this long and like I can't get any control on it but this one is so freaking short and like to the point I, I'm getting so much better at top eyeliner and I think it's because of this bad boy so my next favorite is a mascara and this mascara I used in my everyday makeup routine and it is just the covergirl bombshell volume by lash blast but this stuff is the bomb and <laughs> and it's just amazing it gives great volume and length I use the one side more than I do the two side I hardly ever use the two side but like the only thing I don't like about it, it is kind of bulky but this dried out really fast on me. It's not completely dried out yet, but it's still drying out really fast, which kind of upsets me since it's like $9, but I've still been in love with it and I probably will repurchase it. So this goes along again with the weather and it's just my lips have been terrible this month. Like they will be, they've been cracking it. It's been so bad. So I have been going to two lip balms. The first one is the Vaseline Lip, <laughs> the Vaseline Lip Therapy and this is the original one. And I've seriously used this down to the bottom and I think I'm going to use oh my gosh 
what am I saying? I'm probably going to go buy another one of these just because they are amazing and they feel so amazing on your lips and they have really been helping to heal them but I'm out. So I've also been using the EOS balms and this one is the pomegranate one I think and I've shaped this one really weirdly but um, I love this stuff. I have four of them just sitting on my desk, um, not my desk, where I do my makeup and stuff and I just use them every morning and this has been actually my favorite this month just because I feel like this is the softest one but I've been loving them all and they have been a big help this month. So the next is a fashion favorite and it is this leather jacket. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx I believe for $25? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's $25. I had to have it for our core leader show and I have just been loving this. It is so warm but it's thin enough to wear like when I'm walking around school so I don't have to take it off. It's so hot but like in this weather it has been amazing and it's by the brand Bernardo. It says by Bernardo. I hate this big tag in it but it was the cutest one I could find and this is what it just looks like <laughs> and then this is the back. And then on the side it has these little stretchy mababa things. So, yeah. The next is a food favorite. And I am so sad to say that I have been eating these this month. But they are just my pride and joy. And they are the double stuffed Oreos. Oreos are like my weakness. Oh my gosh, stop making so much noise. They are my weakness. I have been trying to lose, like eat healthier. But then my dad bought me these and I was like... I'm going to be eating them all month, and I have been. I'm almost done with the whole pack, and no one eats them. It, like, I keep them in my room. I'm so stingy. So, as for a random favorite, this has to be my Beats pill. This is my baby. Um, I got it for Christmas, and it's just been the most amazing thing that anyone could have ever gotten me. Well, besides my computer. <laughs> but it has amazing sound quality, and it's just amazing. <laughs> But it's been amazing and save for one of these. If you want a Bluetooth speaker, save your money and get one of these bad boys because they are amazing and you will not regret getting one. Right, now we're on to TV and music favorites. I've seriously been in love with the originals, Fosters, and Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars was kind of off last season for me, but they are bringing it back with a bang. All three of these shows have been directly on point for me and I cannot wait to get back watching them. Like I can't wait for the next day that it comes on. Like it drives me insane. I'm like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Oh. And um, I'm not forgetting about New Girl. I do love New Girl, but it has just not been as good as the past seasons to me. It is really good, don't get me wrong, but those three shows have been on point. As for music, I kind of have them listed right here because I couldn't remember all the ones I wanted to say. But um, as for, I've been going back to, like, I've been loving my indie music this month, like, just relaxing to indie music has been my pride and joy, and I have been getting back into Iron and Wine and his old songs, and I have just been in love with Flightless Bird slash American Mouth, and the song is just so perfect, and I've also been in love with Bastille's, um, All That Blood, <laughs> right? All That Bad Blood by Bastille. It has been amazing. I have three favorite songs on there. Pompeii, which everyone's in love with right now, I think. It's just an amazing song. Flaws and Oblivion. They have all been amazing, and I want this album so bad. I've been loving the Bad Blood album. I've been listening to it on YouTube and stuff, and it's just amazing. And if you haven't heard of um, Bastille, you need to go look them up. And I will have all four of these songs linked down below, so you can go listen to them. And I will also have a link to one of the um, album videos where you can listen to the whole album. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that was my January favorites. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. You don't understand, you don't understand.